Dusan is the collective name of a tribe or ethnic and linguistic group in the Malaysian state of Sabah of North Borneo. Due to similarities in culture and language with the Kadazan ethnic group, a new unified term called Kadazan Dusan was created. Collectively, they form the largest ethnic group in Sabah. Other similarly termed, yet non related groups can also be found in Brunei and the central Kalimantan, Indonesia. Both Bruneian Dusans Dusan and Dusans of Indonesia Burrito Dusan are not related to the Kadazan Dusan people, instead the Bruneian Dusans are culturally, historically and linguistically shared a common origin, language and identity with the Bisaya people of Brunei, northern Sarawak and southwestern Sabah, while in Indonesia, the Burrito Dusan groups that can be found throughout the Burrito River system belong to the Ot Danum Dayak people instead. Etymology Topic. One interesting fact about the Dusans is that they do not have the word Dusan in their vocabulary. It has been suggested that the term Dusan was a term used by the Sultan of Brunei to refer to the ethnic groups of inland farmers in present day Sabah. Dusan means orchard in Malay or simpleton in the Sundanese language. Since most of the west coast of North Borneo was under the influence of the Sultan of Brunei, taxes called Duis, also referred to as the river tax, on the area of southeast of North Borneo were collected by the Sultanate from the Orang Dusan, or Dusan people. Hence, since 1881, after the establishment of the British North Borneo Company, the British administration categorized the linguistically similar, 12 main and 33 sub tribes collectively as Dusan, though among themselves they are simply known in their own dialect as just human, or in their Bobolian term, Kadayan, or Kadazan, in Tanga version. The Tambanuo and Bagahik, who had converted to Islam for religious reasons, had preferred to be called Sungay and Idan, respectively, although they come from the same sub tribes. <laughs> Introduction The Dusan ethnic group at one time made up almost 40% of the population of Sabah and is broken down into more than 30 sub-ethnic, or dialect groups, or tribes, each speaking a slightly different dialect of the Dusanic family language. They are mostly mutually understandable. The name, Dusan, was popularized by the British colonial masters who borrowed the term from the Brunei Malays. Most Dusans have converted to mainstream religions such as Christianity both Roman Catholic and Protestant and Sunni Islam, although animism is still being practiced by a minority of Dusan. The Dusan of old traded with the coastal people by bringing their agricultural and forest produce such as rice and amber damar, to exchange for salt, salted fish and other products. The Dusan have a special term to describe this type of trading activities, i.e. manjambadi. This was before the development of the railroad and road network connecting the interior with the coastal regions of Sabah. The present Tambunan Penampang Road was largely constructed based on the trading route used by the Bundu Liwan Dusan to cross the Crocker Range on their Manjambadi. The vast majority of Dusans live in the hills and upland valleys and have a reputation for peacefulness, hospitality, hard work, frugality, drinking and aversion to violence. They are now modernized and well integrated into the larger framework of Malaysian society, taking up various occupations as government servants, and employees in the private sector, as well as becoming business owners. Many have completed tertiary education both locally and overseas in America, England, Australia and New Zealand. In their old traditional setting they use various methods of fishing, including using the juice called tuba, derived from the roots of the surinate. Plant to momentarily stun fish in rivers. The arrival of the Christian missionaries in the 1880s brought to the Dayaks and the Kadazans, Dusans of Borneo the ability to read, write and converse in English. This opened their minds and stimulated them to get involved in community development. The tribes who were first exposed to this modernization were the Tanga or Tangara who dwelt in the Papar and Penampang coastal plains who were responsible to spread the passion of nationalism to the other tribes. The first attempt to translate the Bible was in Kadazan Tanga, also referred to as the Z dialect. This was followed by a Kadazan Tanga dictionary. 
The first registered native friendly society was the Kadazan Society, and the political party registered in North Borneo was the United National Kadazan Organization under the leadership of Donald Stevens, who was made the first Hugon Siou of the Kadazan aka Dusan Nation of 12 main and 33 sub tribes. When Sabah became independent on August 31, 1963, Donald Stevens became the Prime – Chief Minister, a position he continued to hold after Sabah formed Malaysia on September 16, 1963. <laughs> Subtribes of the Dusan Tuaran Dusan Loaded From an anthropological point of view, it is not clear where the Dusan originated. However, based on anecdotes or folklore, the Dusan have been known to come from Nunuk Regang or the red colored Kayu Ru tree color situated at Kampong Tampias in the district of Ranau. From the time before the spread of the major world religions in Southeast Asia and until the present day, the ethnic loaded were animists. Bruneians use the word Dusan to identify farmers who have a piece of land planted with fruits or tend orchards. The term was adopted by the British during the period of North Borneo Chartered Company rule from 1881 to 1941. According to researchers the ethnic loaded were synonymous with the word swang loaded and can be found in 35 villages in Tuaran district. The ethnic Dusan loaded called lotud were based on the anecdotes not written by their ancestors. The loaded women were known to wear skirts below the knees only. The word OTUD in Dusan loaded dialect means lutut or ni. A husband from ethnic Dusan loaded can practice polygamy and can divorce. The adat or custom of Dusan loaded marriage processes is divided into 35 segments like Saruan, Marisik or bilateral meeting, Mananui, Bertunang or engagement, Papiodop. Burmalam, or stay a night at how dititer or sleeping together, matted, kawan or wedding, and mirapo, adat, or custom. Before the 1950s, the partners for Dusan loaded children were chosen by their parents. The children had no choice except to accept what their parents required for the matching partners without any help. The main objective aims to have good generations of a family, which claims to be respectful and hard-working in the paddy fields and to avoid incest in the families. The male's family will appoint an elderly person known as Saruan, qualified on the Adat Risam, and will visit the female's house for the purpose of Marisik, or negotiating. The Saruan is aimed at delivering a message to engage the daughter from the female. S family. The girl's family requests for a duration of days before the risikan or negotiation could be accepted. Many matters have to be clearly made known like the family tree, character, the capability of the male's side, and to evaluate the meaning of a dream that occurred in the female's family. If the female's side had a bad dream, Sajit Mimpi is done for Perdamayan or peace based on Adat. When the male's had no saruan or appointee, they can be fined on Adat Malu by the girl's family. Adat Mananui Bertunang, or engagement side the proposal of marriage or Risikan is accepted by the girl's side. Both parties will discuss to fix the date for Adat Mananui. They will find the suitable date and month in the Dusan loaded calendar like the night of the 14th in a one month cycle called Tawang Kopia, or the 15th night called Talokud, to perform Mananui. As a symbol of engagement, the man's side will give a ring to the woman only. Single quote. Adat Mananui. Can only be done in the morning before 1 pm. After completion of the ceremony, the man S family members have to leave the woman's home before 4 p.m. In the Adat Mananui, the head of village and the appointee are the frontline people in the ceremony. Both parties of the families will be represented by the head of village. At this time the girl proposed to be the fiancé must be in the bedroom or in another place not to be seen by the male S family. The man S will not be allowed in the girl's living room before the 
Mananui ends. The most important in Adat Menanui engagement are Barian, Mas Khan, Tinanui, Balanja Dapur, Wang Hangus, or kitchen expenses, Hantaran Tunang, or dowry, Sajit, Atau Adat Kaluarga, Jika Ada, or if family custom exist, Tempo Bertunang, duration of engagement. The list of valuables equivalent to dowry items delivered to the girl are Karo Aman Tungal, Karo Levit, Kalra Anantiling, Karo Dsapau, Kamagi Levit, Kamagi 3 Rondog, Battle, or Canon, Tajau, or Vase, Kanyang Tinukul, Tatarapan, two pieces of Rantaka, two pieces of Sigar Emmas. Simbong Bursiput. Pertina. Tompak. Gong. Tawag Tawag. Tutup Panasatan. Kanyang. Kampal. Hulantangan. Two pieces of Simbong Bursiput. At the traditional pre speech, Adat Baryan, or dowry custom and balanja de pur or kitchen expenses, the heads of the villages from the man's and girl's sides will start the pre discussion. They have prepared some pieces of kirai, or the mangrove palm shoot rolled, dried and turned to make cigarette, or the matches sticks as a symbol of notes equivalent to erm 1000 each. The girl's side will make some requests of the man's side. Barian, or tinanui, or dowry is obligatory as the symbol of the value of the girl's personality and based on the tradition worth erm 1000. The period to perform a marriage ceremony is one year. The man's family will request for an adjournment of the marriage if the man's encounters a financial problem. The balanja de pur, or kitchen expenses is estimated above erm 5000 and a moderate fat buffalo, adat barian tana, or the land grant custom dowry is obligatory for the ethnic dusan loaded called pinalasadan du alawid. With the approved land taxation of 0.25 cents. The purpose of land grant dowry is for the construction of a house when the married couple has children. Based on tradition, if the bridegroom does not have assets like land, the Baryan 4 Binukul valuable archaic items will be mentioned with the value of Erm 1000.00 as Adat Baryan and has fulfilled the terms. Ranau Dusans Topic. The Ranau Dusans can be considered as more closely representative of the original Dusan stock than others are. This is because they reside in an area generally considered as the place of origin of the Dusans, namely Nunak Regang. More of the Ranau Dusan people are Muslim than in any other Dusan region of Sabah. Topic. Dusan Tatana the Dusan Tatana are different from all other Dusan people, their culture being similar to Chinese culture but mixed with some traditional Dusan customs. The Dusan Tatana are the only Dusan who celebrate Chinese New Year as their festival. Kaamatan is less celebrated by them. See also Bornean traditional tattooing Kadazandusan Cultural Association Sabah Topic References Topic Topic Further reading Topic Evans, IHN, 1953 The Religion of the Tempasic Dusans of North Borneo Cambridge, University Press Glyn Jones, Monica 1953, The Dusan of the Penampang Plains, 2 vols. London. Gudgeon, L. W. W. 1913, British North Borneo, pp. 22-39. London, Adam and Charles Black. Hewitt, Godfrey 1923, The Dusans of North Borneo. Proceedings of the Royal Society of London. Series B, containing papers of a biological character Volume 95, Issue 666, pp. 157-163 Publication date, 8-1923 2004. 
Southeast Asia, a historical encyclopedia, from Angkor Wat to East, Volume 1. Williams, Thomas Rees, 1966. The Dusen, A North Borneo Society, N.Y. Holt, Reinhardt and Winston. Topic. External links. Topic. Kadazan Dusen vocabulary collections.